the Agwe River, the fourth largest in Africa, empties its massive volume of water into the Atlantic Ocean, just south of Port Gentil. It mingles with the salt water into a murky soup. Perfect conditions for barracuda to ambush prey. Really nice color line here from this estuary running out, the seawater pushing in, and this distinct barrier. An ideal spot for barracuda, I reckon. I'm pulling a rapala along the edge here, along the edge here, because I would suspect that some of these bait fish would be hanging on this edge here. And any predator will be charging in from either side, either using the dark water as cover, but it's a distinct line. Hey, fish on! And he's taken by surprise. A massive yes. fish is running with his lure. Yes, please! Hi, boy. It's a West African target, one of the most yes. prized sport fish on the planet. It's Andy's first time fishing in their territory. First top and it jumped and has now hanging in the bottom here. I don't really know how big it is, but it looks like a fair sized fish. My first top in there for man. Unbelievable. Now it's hanging under the boat here. Giving me backache. Also known as Silver Kings, their fight and stamina is legendary. Putting its hefty weight onto a boat can fatally damage its internal organs. It's better to keep this prize in the water. Tarpon have massive, bony jaws. Once the hook is set, it's hard to remove. <laughs> Just cut the nylon. That's okay, we'll okay. Get it Here we go. Look at that. Not quite the giant I was looking for in terms of barracuda, but a very, very nice fish in any case. And it astounds me that they can go to 250 pounds. I just can't get my head around that. You're going back. That's good. There we there go. go. There yeah, we yeah, go. There she goes. 